What's up guys, Boyle96HD here, we are back, we're doing a Silver Squad Villa for you today, it has the likes of Team of the Season Ali Adier and Team of the Season Commons, as you will probably see from the title, uh, before I start the video, a big thank you to UT Coin Traders, if you want coins, check them out, links in the description, so we're playing a 4-3-1-2 formation, I'm absolutely but fucking gold team, silver teams, any teams with this team at the moment, I'm in great form with it, and in gold to a very solid keeper, replacing the Bundy's league at his Wecklow. Uh, 76 diving, 80 reflex has been his highlight stats. He's tall, he's just really, really solid in the nets. And he's only going to set you back about 1k. Uh, right back you have Dykemeyer, uh, 90 pace, 72 dribbling. Also at 70 defending, 69 heading, 51 shooting and 72 passing. So nice stats in this guy. He's going to set you back 11k but he's really worth it. He does have the pace to keep up with those fast wingers running at you. And uh, so does the left back too in Danny Rolls with 82 pace, 73 dribbling. Uh, 70 defending and 71 passing. Rolls' pace feels about 85 plus. Really, really fast on the ball. For 1.9k or so, I picked him up for in a 4 3 one, two. Uh, He's worth it hands down. And the right back and the left back are absolutely fantastic in this team. On to the centre backs. And first of all, you have Bramwell here on the left. And on the right hand side, you probably have one of my favourite silver backs. Or centre backs uh, this year. It's Kurchov, uh, 72 pace, 74 defending, and 74 heading. He's absolutely fantastic. So good interception, so good at marking in the air, on the ground, fast with 72 pace. Really recommend you try him out. And the rapist himself in the centre back, uh, Titus Bramble, is not that bad at all either. 69 pace, 74 defending, and 78 heading. Really good actually. He's really good on the ground. Pace is 69, <coughs> it's just it's not fantastic, but it's definitely not bad. 69 pace for centre back is decent. And then when he has the centre back beside him with 72 pace and the right backs having 90 or the right back having 90, the left back having 82, he definitely has the pace around him to cope, so he does a fine job. Your first middle centre back, you have Scott Brown on the right hand side, are in the centre on the right hand side, you have Bittencourt, and on the left hand side you have Sean Maloney. We start here in the middle with Scott Brown, 86 pace, 73 dribbling, 73 passing 75 defending and 59 heading really all around stats 86 pace from that holding midfield it does really nicely also he can get forward he can help out the defenders at the back and burn the fantastic midfielder uh bidding court now 81 pace really nice shot on him 72 dribbling also uh, very fast actually running up the pitch and really close and really good close control they can pick him up for eight thousand coins and a center mid naturally comes at, as an attacking mid and uh, Brown cost me about 3k in a centre mid, 4 3 one, 2 so that was decent. On to the left centre mid today, Sean Maloney, 74 pace, 71 passing, 78 dribbling. Really fantastic dribbling, this guy, such nimble footwork, just walks through people. Uh, the pace is decent on him being 74, great pass of the ball. Also, picked him up for 8k in the centre mid, comes as a centre attacking mid once again. But uh, really a fantastic player to play with, and that midfield is absolutely juicy. Uh, onto the strike line is really where all the shit does happen. At centre forward, you have probably one of my favourite silver players in the game. You've seen a review on my channel of this fucker. Uh, it's Chris Collins' team of the season. 76 pace, 80 shooting and 76 passing. Along with 81 tripling. Uh, sent me back 100k on about the second day he came out, which is about two weeks ago now. But this guy, fucking amazing free kicks, penalties, set pieces, pace, passing shooting dribbling this guy has it all you'll see goals have scored from 30 yards in the eclipse after I have loads of clips with this team and uh, it's just an absolutely amazing player coming to play with and so is the team to wrap off the team on the left hand side up here you do have team of this season Ali Adier and on the right hand side you've probably seen it there you have Lacazette uh, Ali Adier has 85 pace 75 shooting and 77 dribbling I've also have a review of him on my channel so if you want to check that out I'll leave a video response below same to it comments but uh, Ali Adier has 85 pace, 75 shooting and 77 dribbling. The, he has 94 acceleration in game. He has 90 finishing in game. And is fucking amazing to play with. It really, really is. 85 pace, 75 shooting, 90 finishing, 77 dribbling. Really does make this guy. He doesn't score all that much headers. But uh, bar the heading side of his game, he's a fantastic striker. Uh, Lacazette, 86 pace, 66 or 68 shooting, 67 passing, 79 dribbling. Four star skills, which really makes Lacazette absolutely beautiful on him. The four star skills, really, really good shot as well. A reminder, 68 rating, and uh, you'll know that if you played with this guy this year, really fun to play with. But this team is going to set you back. Well, Commons is going to set you back 120 as we speak, and Ali Adair 660 or so. So with Lacazette, the strike line will cost you about 300k, give or take. And the team will the team around that's going to set you back what 20 or 30k so it's going to cost you in the 300s region around that and as a team i definitely recommend you build that you'll see some great goals i got with the team 
uh, in the clips and uh, yeah so this has been another silver squad but the lads i know you do enjoy these so if you do leave it a like leave it a comment would really appreciate it uh thanks for watching hope you have a fantastic day as always check out ut coin if you want coins the link is in the description and uh, thanks for watching have a fantastic day and enjoy the goals Pull my heart out of my chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out and fill the hole. Tell me apart, tell me apart, watch burn.